Hey guys, so um, I was just thinking and I uh, remembered uh, another lesson I learned that I could pass down to you guys and it um, has to do with quoting and um, how long to honor your quotes for. When I first started, uh, I just gave out quotes and I would honor them even if they called me back like three months later and stuff like that because I didn't put a time limit on it. Um, now I put a, um, a 30 day, sometimes I'll choose 60 days, but I'll put a 30 or 60 day expiry on the quote, a written quote that I give. So, um, which will really help you guys in the beginning too, because, you know, as you're gaining, like, experience and stuff to learn how to quote, and, you know, you're gaining confidence to give quote higher prices and stuff. Um, the last thing you're going to want to do is have a, you know, say, a decent sized tree. Say, for instance, something you should be quoting $1,200 for. Um, and, you know, it's a learning game, guys, no matter how much you listen to me or anyone else. Um, you're always going to end up just charging a little lower than you could. Um, and that just comes with confidence and experience, guys. But, um, anyway... What was I almost forgot what I was saying here. Oh yeah. So anyway, the point is, um, when you're first starting out, guys, you'll be quoting lower. So the last thing you want to do is, um, you know, quote a twelve hundred dollar tree for six or eight, and then you know, four or five months down the road, when you're actually quoting, you know, eleven hundred, twelve hundred for the same size tree, these guys call you up and say, hey, uh, I wanted you to come do my tree now that you quoted me eight hundred for or 600 and then you know you kind of got to honor it or you're gonna get a crappy name so um, you know just to avoid that guys right off the get-go and learn from my mistake um, put a 30 or 60 day um, time limit on your quotes on your written quotes kind of base it off you know say you're having a bit of a slow week and it's an $800 tree and you bid six on it just to make sure you get the job. Um, you know, maybe give something like that 60 days because you're only going to lose 200. But, um, you know, say you're having a really, really tough month um, and you bid an $800 tree for like 550 or something, guys, or 500 and you're really taking a bite on it. Um, definitely give your written quote with like a 30-day thing so that, you know... If they don't get it within 30 days, you're obviously beyond, you've done another contract or you're beyond that point of needing that money for that price. So um, that'll automatically expire and you won't have to deal with that. Um, if they do call you back, you can go back, requote, give them a new price. And if they don't like the increase, you know, that's too bad. That's all I gotta say, really. Because, um, I don't know, guys, I've been running it for about six, just over six months now. and. You'll get there too, where you just, you get to the point where people don't want to pay you what you're worth. You just, you ain't got no time for that. Um, you don't even want to deal with them anyway. You wouldn't want the contract if you, if they gave it to you. So, um, yeah, I guess. Uh, I'll, I'll make another video on that. Basically explaining um, your self, like your self-image and your self-worth. You got to kind of figure those out. Um, you got to kind of put a price tag on yourself and stick with it um, even when you feel desperate or you're having a rough week or whatever the case is you, um, you really got to stay strong up in your um, your mentality guys uh, don't forget what you're worth and you want to keep that price tag that you set for yourself and make sure you're getting paid for it um, but yeah another video for that guys anyway I'm gonna end this one so I'll see you guys in the next video